What's up? Hunter Grindle here from HybridFitnessSystems.com and in today's video I'm going to show you a little workout that you can do on your off day. So you know, let's say you work out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but you want something in between and maybe you're a little sore still on Tuesdays and Thursdays that you can do at home. Not going to require any equipment. Something that's going to still forward your progress ahead but also not kill you because you got to be ready for the next day for the next workout. So I'm going to give you three movements today. And we'll kind of do these in like a Tabata sequence. What a Tabata is, is we're going to do it for 20 seconds total, and you're going to go uh, 10 seconds rest. So 20 seconds doing it, 10 seconds rest. All right, so the first movement we're going to do is just a very, very deep squat hold, right? And we're going to basically try and touch our butt to the ground. We really want to try and open up our hips here. So you're going to get into a regular squat stance, about shoulder width apart, toes pointed out, okay? You're just gonna drop the butt and go as low as you can, right? So if you can get down here, and you know, it's almost, it's not as bad as a regular squat hold where you're here and the muscles are more flexed. If you can really get down here, you're almost just stretching more of anything. And I want you to see how my back's bent like this. I want you to try and pick your back up and just have your phone going, okay? And I want you to do that for 20 seconds and then Stand up through your heels like a regular squat. There you go. You can feel it all here, and you have to feel it right now, actually. All right, the second exercise that you're gonna do, okay, this is called a hockey stretch, okay? So, we're going to spread our legs apart like this, all right? And you're gonna feel this one in your groin. So spread apart there. You're gonna have your arms like this, and then you're gonna just sit back Push down and you're gonna feel it all throughout your groin. And just make sure you're breathing. Really loosen things up. And awesome. All right. And now the third exercise we're gonna do, this is uh, called a good morning. But where we're not gonna use equipment, we're not gonna have anything, right? This is just your body. And all you're gonna do is practice hinging at your waist, right? So we're gonna come here. Now, we're not bending your knees at all, just hinging our hips. You're going to feel your hamstrings tighten up, going down as far as you can, keeping your back straight, and up like this, squeezing the glutes. It's not a fast movement, just make it very controlled. You're going to feel a stretch, but working on the muscles at the same time, just like that. There. And you're going to rotate through those three exercises. You've got uh, you Again, you've got the good morning, you've got the cat stretch, and you've got the first one, the deep squat hold. So again, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Go through that four times. You're gonna feel a lot looser. You're gonna feel like your muscles have relaxed a little bit from the workout before, and it's also gonna prime you for tomorrow's workout. So uh, at the end of this video, I have a link for you, and pretty much what it is, it's a uh, sign up, a free sign up for my seven day jumpstart challenge. And pretty much what it is, is for every day for seven days, I'm gonna send you uh, a video that's gonna give you a motivational tip, nutritional tip, and a daily exercise. Kinda help you get in the exercise, because I know it's not easy, you know, starting that exercise. It's gonna help you get, uh, get some momentum going and get you started. But I hope you like this video, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.